And it's all quiet here tonight at this mega church in Southwest Miami Dade. But after today's launch of Evangelicals for Trump, now his campaign, along with the president, are hoping that this will not only help him win the state of Florida, but also re election in general. Father, I pray for my president and our president. I While at a Southwest Miami Dade mega church. <laughs> President Trump has officially launched his campaign's Evangelicals for Trump coalition. But his first message was about U.S. drone strikes that killed a top Iranian general. He was plotting attacks against Americans, but now we've ensured that his atrocities have been stopped for good. They are stopped for good. He was planning a very major attack, and we got him. President Trump then told a crowd of thousands inside King Jesus International Ministry why they should support him. That's after a popular evangelical magazine called for his removal last month. Just look at the record, because we've done things that nobody thought was possible. Together, we're not only defending our constitutional rights, we're also defending religion itself. The president claims his beliefs align with the evangelical congregation, and he has appointed more than 100 federal judges with the same values. Also, the mega church's pastor addressed the controversy of holding a rally at the church. And when we advocate for issues that we care about deeply, such as a family, a respect for life, we do not take decisions within the campaign. Nonprofit Freedom from Religious Foundation has asked the IRS to investigate the mega church. The group believes the church could be violating IRS rules by holding a campaign rally. It's a rally that attracted more than just members of the church. He's done a great job uh, for the last three years, and we want another four years uh, of his presidency. But there was at least one protester making his voice heard outside the church. I just don't like the way he talked talk to women. I don't like the way he talked to people. If you can lie and these people believe you, it's sad. The Trump campaign is not stopping with this coalition. A spokesperson who identifies as evangelical says other groups will be included. But there will be other uh, religious oriented coalitions coming up as well. Uh, Jewish voices, Catholics for Trump. That campaign spokesperson also told me what's next for the campaign. They're heading to Ohio and Wisconsin for several rallies. And then after that, sometime this year, they will also go on a, a rally nationwide or, or a tour nationwide, rather, and that'll be for a Women for Trump tour. We are live in Southwest Miami-Dade. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News Tonight.